Okay guys, so it is the next day and the time is two o'clock and we've only just like gotten ready. So as you can tell, very, very late start to the day. We had breakfast and everything, but I just didn't pick up the vlog because I was just so tired and unbothered. But I'll show you today's outfit. This dress from Pretty Little Thing. Bag, coach bag. And then my usual jewelry and stuff. That is today's outfit. I don't even know where we're going or what we're doing because it was meant to go to Athens, but apparently everything's closed on Sundays. So now we're going tomorrow. Um, but the view is beautiful as usual. Everyone's outside doing whatever. It's just wild to me that some people actually just live with these sorts of views and then you, you just always wake up to this sort of tranquility. I just think that's just so lucky, so cool. Anyways, um, I'll see you guys when we actually decide where we're going and when we've actually headed off. guys quick outfit change um because we're gonna do water sports i thought i put on my water sports type bikini i got it from lux to kill so that's what it looks like i put my shorts from zara on and then i've got these platform sliders from zara i'm gonna now pack my beach bag and i thought i'd like show you guys what i pack don't mind the messy background i don't know if i said that already but this is the beach bag just got a normal one from pretty little thing as you guys can see so what i've already got in here is a book i've taken so long to finish this book some baby oil just because you know you get dry salt water and everything vaseline and then i'm gonna add sunscreen i have this one from bondi sands there we go got my airpods lip oil and then mini bits like hotel key card and then your towel passes and then my family let's just put anything they want to bring in my bag but yeah that's literally all i bring we don't have to bring towels or beach towels or anything because they provide that all for you we don't really take a speaker because as you can hear they play so much music already one more thing i do take though fan and a power bank that is my beach bag I'm basically packed i'll see you guys when we get to the water sports era we're hoping to do like paddle boat type of thing and stuff like that hopefully that goes well because yesterday's one was scary it was fun but there was way too much fear in it for me like i needed to be relaxed like it was like a workout it was as if like Kemi, you're fighting for your life i'll see you guys when we finally leave all right guys you guys are gonna be very annoyed and apologies if you can't hear me there's a lot of noise going on outside but we didn't really do much we went to the pool i didn't actually record it because i felt like you guys saw that already and then when we got home everybody literally went for a nap and now we're waking up getting dressed for dinner but we're not actually going to dinner we're just getting dressed to just take pictures and look nice and strong around i thought i'd show you guys my outfit so this is the outfit as usual everything is from zara so this whole set is from zara and the shoes that i'm wearing are from zara my bag is from this website called jwk i don't know if it's still there but it, if it is then i'll put it in the description box below um, my jewelry is my usual jewelry so my casio watch vivian westwood and the earrings though they're from primark i did my hair differently i did it in this braid because i thought that would be nice and also because the curls are messy from being in the pool and I just haven't had the chance to actually fix it up and make it look nice. But yeah, this is literally the outfit, guys. I've been waiting the whole holiday to wear this outfit and I'm not even actually wearing it for a dinner. I'm just wearing it to wear it and take pictures. Guys, we're just chilling by the pool. I don't know if you can see Mina in the back. Mina literally so nice we've taken a few pictures if you want to see the pictures i've been taking on this holiday please go onto my instagram because if i do say so myself they bang we're gonna walk further down that way soon in the second so that we can just see what's going on down there because there's like beach clubs and stuff happening and so i would like to just walk down the strip and just see what people are doing basically and then after that we're just gonna chill in the hammocks we'll probably get a drink from the bar let's go get a mocktail guys from the bar okay guys so i'm back with a mocktail i got the spicy no mocktail because i saw ginger beer and as soon as i see ginger 100% is for me. Okay, I don't think you'll like it, Mini, because it's kind of like spicy, like bitter. I like the spicy gingery. Mm. Do you like it? Be honest. Do you actually I like. like it? <laughs> Do you like it? Do you like I it? Wish there was more sugar there. I knew she was gonna say that. I was thinking, Mini, this one is too savory for you. Let's go. So guys, we're on the rooftop. I don't know if you guys can hear me, and I also don't know if this music is copyright. So we're gonna find out together. But the view behind me. There's more 
like more forward, but I, we just haven't gone down that side. Should we go? Should we go down that side? The main thing is there's water around there, so I'm not really trying to walk there. Yeah, it's really nice up here. The music is nice, the vibe is nice. So yeah, guys, I'm in bed. It's currently 12:30, and I'm in bed. Um, after the rooftop, came to the hotel, tidied up a little bit, and I'm now in bed. I'm ready to sleep. I took a shot, like a double espresso shot. I'm I'm ready to sleep still. So yeah, I'm literally not gonna be doing anything further for the night. I'll just see you guys tomorrow. For now, good night, guys. All right, guys. So it's the next day. This is our last full day in Greece. Sadly, I'm very upset about it to be honest because it came about way too quickly. We're going to spend the day in Athens. We're gonna try and come back so we can still do more stuff here at the resort. But yeah, I thought I'd show you guys my outfit before we head out. Okay, so I'm wearing this tank top that you guys saw me wear from Pretty Little Thing on day one. I'm wearing these jeans that I think I wore on day two. They're from Zara. These slippers I've gotten from Zara as well. This is the complete look for my hair. I don't know if you guys can see it properly, but I did like this braid half up half down so like a braided half up half down i'm trying some really different styles that i don't usually try when i have like knotless braids and stuff so jewelry i'm wearing the pandora necklace that i got for my birthday and then i'm wearing my watch and i'm wearing my regular hoops like i showed you guys already before i need to start investing in new jewelry i'm too vanilla when it comes to my jewelry like i'm on holiday and i'm wearing the same things i would wear if i'm not on holiday okay guys so i'm filming on my phone so the quality might be a bit different because I don't want to bring up my camera here because it seems a bit like there's a little bit of people that can steal. We're in the like, we're not in Athens, we're in Corinthus, um, or Corinth, one of the two. We didn't end up going to Athens because we were trying to like do a lot in one day and Athens was just a bit too much of a journey. So yeah, we're just going to walk around and see like everything. Guys, excuse the sweaty mess that I look like. We've just come back. The time is 4.27, if you got, if it's gonna focus. It's not, it doesn't matter. Yeah, that was a complete fail. Yeah, a complete fail. We struggled. We couldn't really find anything. I couldn't really find any shops, like souvenir shops to get like souvenir type of stuff. We kept on getting bothered by like, they're not homeless people, just people on the street. We gave them 20 euros and they were still asking for more. Yeah, so now we're doing water sports. We sacrificed Athens. Anyways, I'm gonna get dressed in my, my water sports outfit from yesterday. Anyways guys, we'll see you guys when we get outside. We're gonna do like water sports, paddling bow, all of them things there. The thing closes in two and a half hours. Whose phone is that? Yours. Be careful, man. <laughs> Come on, no, no, no. Okay, guys, so I look crazy again, as usual. I'm gonna rinse off, but I'm gonna use the bath because the whole time I've been here, I've not used this. So today's the last day, and we're gonna be using all the things we've not used. So I'm gonna use this. We don't have any actual bubble bath soap, so I'm just gonna use the body wash soap that they have. Hopefully it soaps up. So I'm out of the bath and I'm just wearing literally the exact same thing that I wore, if you guys can see at the back, on day one. We're just gonna quickly go to the supermarket and see if we can get like British snacks. I mean, Greek snacks um, that we could take back to the UK over. But yeah, that's what we're gonna do and that's where we are off to now. All right guys, so we've arrived at the supermarket. Hi. I'm intrigued to see what they have. I don't think we're gonna find like anything too special, but. We've got the American version of Walkers, Lay's. Don't think I'm gonna get it though, because it's literally just Walkers. This is like their crisps selection, which is the exact same as the UK. The honest with you, there's not really much difference. It's literally just the same brands, different packaging. Licks and tea in cans, which I've personally never seen, but I may be late. Red velvet croissant. Mom, do you want this? Red velvet croissant. Got organic mountain tea. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that one right there. Green tea and fruit tea, which I might try. How do you find the history on this thing? Towels. Okay, guys. I'm tasting the tea thingy. What's it, it What's it Let me called? shake it. Mountain lemon tea. Organic. Okay. Don't do it. I'm shaking it, sorry. It's nice, but it should be more salty, but it's more sweet. Salty? Like sour, because lemon. It just oh. tastes like sweet water. I don't want the tea. This is just sweet water. 
It's all right. Come on, I wouldn't buy it again. I won't buy it again, to be honest. For a moment. All right, guys, we're going back to get dressed for the dinner. I'm on. We finna see y'all later. I'm now ready for dinner. This is the outfit. Just this top from Zara. I've got this skirt from H&M. My shoes, River Island. Got them for my birthday. Very nice shoes. Same bag from yesterday. So literally just waiting for her for an hour. I'm very ready. I don't even do makeup or nothing. I even do my lip like that. I just put lip oil and I'm good to go, to be honest with you. But there's supposed to be this party going on from 1 a.m. So we're not gonna sleep, to be honest with you. But yeah, anyways, I'll see you guys when it's time for dinner. Guys, so we've had dinner. I'm at home. I've had the time to pack everything, get dressed, get changed. Dinner. The dinner was so good. The food was so good, like so good. But in Greece, if you've been to Greece, you will know that they have stray dogs here. I don't know if it's everywhere in Greece, but the area that I'm in, there are stray dogs everywhere. And if you know me, you know me and dogs, we don't go together. And these dogs are big dogs. If I can get a picture, I will insert the picture here. These are big dogs. All right, tell me why the stray dog comes and is hovering around our table. My entire family's scared of dogs. There was no one to like ward off the dog because all of us are sitting there like this. My heart is literally sunk to my ass. It finally leaves and then it comes back and it lies down directly behind me. I'm just like out of sight, out of mind, out of sight, out of mind. But my sister is in front of me, my younger sister, and she's making all these faces like, <gasps> and I'm like, oh out of sight out of mind is not working because i'm seeing her have scared facial expression meaning this dog behind me is moving mad by the way guys these dogs are so friendly they're so nice like but we're just so scared and used to uk dogs being ready to fight and square up the uk dogs think they're humans so the dog comes near me this time again everyone's like on edge just waiting for it to go away and why does my brother my brother jumps and the whole table flies with him obviously the table didn't lift up but like everything on the table just like lifted up because my mum's leg accidentally touched his and he thought that that was the dog the poor dog also jumped away he got scared as well oh my days it goes away it comes back and it decided it actually came really really close to me guys to the point where it was touching my foot and that's when i lost it i got up i ran sprinted and dashed out of the restaurant and mind you my brother had already gotten up because he saw the dog coming that close to me he was like oh i'm leaving so we were both just just leaving and then my sister has a panic attack at the table <laughs> And then we had to get the, the people, they basically clocked what was going on, that like we were scared of the dogs. And they were like, guys, this is just a friendly dog, but we can get them away from you. They got the dog away, they spoke to the dog in their language, in Greek, and the dog left and everything. I just thought I'd tell you guys that story time because it was so scary. Ugh. I'm literally now just gonna get in bed. The time is like, what, 1 a.m.? This is the end of the vlog. This is the end of the vlog and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is my first time doing a travel vlog and I hope I got the footage I was meant to get and I hope that the content is given what it's supposed to give. Do head over to my Instagram to see pictures I have coming out. Go to my TikTok to see any little videos that I might have posted. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you're new, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.